token drug abuse. Young people have been urged to shun drug abuse and channel their energies into productive ventures that will improve their lives. This is just as the government and parents have been urged to do more to safeguard their children from falling prey. This advice was given on the sidelines of a public speaking competition organized by School of Eloquence Lagos on the theme, Drug Abuse and Its Effect on the Youth. Details in this report. From a very young age, she followed her hands to places like nightclubs and as being an outgoing girl, she started mingling with people which is the wrong crowd. This public speaking competition is meant to serve as a testimonial to the importance and power of effective oral communication and commitment to elevating the art of public speaking to mainstream levels in the Nigerian society. Nine government-owned schools are locking horns on the topical issue, drug abuse, a trend which is eating deeply into the fabrics of the society. The competitors have indeed done their homework and research on the menace. Unsurprisingly, they speak passionately and eloquently. And whosoever a child learns from home is most likely to remain with him for the rest of his life. Yes, it's not the first day that I take this guy going to end up as your valet. You end up in the hospital. For these things, it's over time. Cigarettes and alcohol are commonly abused by Nigerians. It so only affects our physical self. They also affect our mental. Through their speeches, they share stories of young people who have been affected by the scourge, with an appeal for all hands to be on deck in fighting the harrowing trend. From a very young age, she followed her hands to places like nightclubs, and as being an outgoing girl, she started mingling with people, which is the wrong crowd. Over the years, drug abuse has been a pressing issue that every one of us here knows. Parents who brought us into this world, what happens when they are perpetrating this crime? Huh. When you talk about mental health consequences, we talk about, you know, we talk about depression, anxiety, neurological impairments. The dean of the school shares insight on the theme of discussion and why it is important to catch them young. Other speakers have words of advice for parents, the society and even what the government should be doing to save the young people from going astray. So for us, we notice that a lot of the people that we teach public speaking to could probably have done better if they had learned public speaking much earlier in life rather than learning public speaking as adults. Apart from politics, apart from the state of the economy, the issue of drug abuse is a prevalent subject matter. It's there, it's present, and we're talking about it. We have a lot to do. You've all come here to say today, charity begins at home. We need to ensure that we inculcate the right discipline. In life, the choice that you make will determine your future. At the end of it all, Dairy Farm Senior Secondary School carried the day as one of their representatives emerged winner in the individual category. CMS Grammar School and King's College followed in runners-up position. Then again, Dairy Farm School walks away with a School of Eloquence Cup 2023. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.